welcome back to the Happy Homestead. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. I'm Amanda, and I really just kind of go through different things that we do here on our homestead. Today, I'm going to show you my latest Azure order. My very first Azure order of 2022 was last month in March, and it was it was a big one. I think it was our biggest one yet. Not just volume, but money <laughs> spent. And then this one, this is a little bit more on the smaller side. But what I wanted to get for this month, for the month of April 2022, were things that I couldn't get last month. So my order last month would have been bigger if everything was in stock. So I just kind of wanted to fill in some of the gaps on things we didn't have and things that I wasn't able to get from previous order. So let's start. Okay, so I'm gonna do what I normally do, just kind of go through and show you what I've ordered and things that are new to us and things that we've ordered before that we love. But I also have my phone here because I'm going to tell you the price I paid. I have found that people wanna know, right? So they can do their own shopping and price comparison. Just know that these prices are what I paid for the April of 2022 order. So that actually may be helpful if you watch this video in a year and you go to Azure Standard and you can see how prices have fluctuated or changed with food. So it could be interesting. So let's start here. This is a 25 pound bag of hard white wheat. If you've been following along at all, you know that we grind all of our own wheat berries in our mock mill to make our own flowers. And I have not been able to get hard white wheat in the last order. It was out of stock, so I'm so glad I have it today. So in our pantry now, we have minimum of 25 pounds of hard white wheat, hard red wheat, spelt, soft white wheat, oats, and I don't have einkorn. Einkorn is the only one. I tried to get it last month, I tried to get it this month, and the einkorn wheat berries are sold out. I even went to a different bulk buying website and they were sold out there too. Um, I could also even try to get the einkorn all-purpose flour, the, the Jovial brand, and they were all sold out. I couldn't get that in this order either. So something's happening with einkorn right now. So if you can get your hand on some einkorn flour and you like it and use it, then I'd recommend you get it. But this kind of tops off our grains in our pantry for now, our, our flour grains. And for that bag, I paid $29.19. So again, for 25 pounds. And the beauty of the wheat berries when you buy them in the whole form is they have a really long shelf life. For, and that's like assuming you're, you're storing them the right way. So I store mine in five gallon buckets with gamma seal leads lids in a very cold, dark environment. Um, not exposed to light, not exposed to heat, not exposed to moisture. That's all you need to do. Let's move over to this 25 pound bag. So this is a 25 pound bag of sugar, organic evaporated cane sugar. This was $30.91. And I price compared this with even Costco and it was cheaper here in Azure. So this 25 pound bag this will last for an entire year. Um, so really happy I got that because I also tried to get that last month and it was sold out. Okay, then all purpose flour. So I actually purchased 10 pounds, it was either 10 or 20 of all purpose flour last month, but I wanted to get another 10 pound bag just to have it. And so this 10 pound bag of all purpose flour was $12.15. So probably, and this is organic, right, unbleached. So probably on par with maybe what you would find in your grocery store for a five pound bag of organic unbleached. But I like it in the 10 pound bags. And remember, with any flour that you purchase, put it in the freezer just for a few days, and then you can take it out and store it in your pantry. But this is gonna go right back in our freezer when I'm done here. And that's because sometimes there are little weevils that lay eggs in the wheat grain and even when they grind and thresh and do everything in the milling uh, location, the egg sometimes still stay intact. And so you might have little bugs that then hatch in your flour. I know, it sounds gross. I've talked about this before, so I'm sorry if this is a repeat, but I, it's important to know. So whenever you buy flour, put it in the freezer because if the eggs haven't already hatched and you'll know it when you open it, then if you put it in your freezer, it kills everything. Hallelujah. Am I right? <laughs> so put your flour in the freezer. 
Okay, and then let's go over here, the onions. So this is a nice big bag of onions, and this is 10 pounds. Now I purchased, I can't remember if it was 10 or 20 pounds back in December, and I only have four onions left in our garage with them. And I'll show you how I store these, and it's worked wonderfully. So these 10 pounds should get us, I would say at least two or three months maybe two months. Once canning season starts, <laughs> it might go a little faster. But these 10 pounds were $15.75. Again, organic yellow onions. This bag here, this is brand new to us. This is a five pound bag of Sucanat. Um, Sucanat is a dehydrated cane juice. I don't really know how that's different from here, from the white sugar. I think it's just less processed or minimally processed. But I wanted to try a different sweetener too, like a more all natural sweetener. And so this five pound bag of Sucanat, and I don't know if I'm saying that right, was $13.58. And then got one pound of milk chocolate chips, organic, and for no other reason than for chocolate chip pancakes or for trail mix for my kids. Just a really easy thing. Um, this one pound bag, was eleven dollars and fifty three cents now if you're buying chocolate chips that aren't organic you can absolutely get them cheaper in your store but organic ones for one pound and remember those bags you buy may not even be a full pound they might be like 11 or 12 ounces so i was comfortable with paying that uh butter i talk about this butter and i think on every azure order because on every azure order i order it uh this is the rumiano European style organic butter, unsalted. And the Rumiano is our absolute favorite. We also like the Sierra Nevada bat cultured butter, and I have some of that in the freezer, but I got more of this. And I ordered a lot of this last month, but I ordered another 10 blocks this month. It goes in the freezer, we keep it there. I think we have 24 of these in our freezer that will well last us for the rest of this year and into 2023. These 10 eight ounce blocks, so essentially it's like two sticks of butter, if you think of it that way, was $32.04. So you could say 20 sticks of butter for $32.04. Yes, that is more expensive than the butter you will find in your grocery store. But sometimes for us, it's quality over quantity. And this is quality. This is a case of Safe Catch Skip Jack Wild Tuna. Uh, every now and then we'll like to do some tuna fish. And if you're not familiar with the Safe Catch brand, I'd recommend you check it out, especially if you're already ordering from Azure. And I think you can find this in some grocery stores too. Um, but the whole point is that is that these this company really does the best they can possibly do for our planet, for the ocean, um, and they are the lowest mercury tuna of any brand. I remember when I was pregnant with my kids, I didn't eat tuna because of the fear of mercury. Do with that what you will, right? Everyone makes their own decision, um, but they do a really good job of just making sure that they're even harvesting the tuna in a sustainable way. I'm sure you've seen those videos of when they harvest the tuna, everything else gets caught up in it, and it's just collateral damage. This company does the best job they can out of any other brand out there to make sure they're harvesting their tuna in the most ethically and responsible way. So I got a case of these, which is 12 of them, for $34.57. And we ordered a case of them last year. I think we have one or two left. So a case of 12, it goes about a year for us. Okay, these two bags here are two five pound bags of long grain organic brown rice. Can never go wrong with just having some rice in your pantry. So these five pound bags each are $24.34. I love you, girl. It's great. 
It's great when your spouse is home when you're trying to film. Okay. Uh, next is the Strauss Organic Yogurt. You've seen me talk about this. However, there's a difference here. Uh, before I say the difference, this is the Strauss Family Creamery Organic Whole Milk European Style Plain Yogurt. Have you noticed that there's like a lot of adjectives to describe food lately? Every product has like five words to describe it. Anyway, this is our favorite yogurt. But I only got two, and normally I get like four or six. And the reason is because I've been making our own yogurt. I buy raw cream line milk from a local dairy, fantastic family. I get about a gallon a week, it's all we need. And I make yogurt, I make kefir, and if I need more, I'll make cheese, right? If I get a couple of gallons, I'll make some hard cheeses. Um, but I make a Bulgarian yogurt with the starters, it is a Cultures for Health Bulgarian starter, and I got that from Azure as well, so you can find that. And now I just make our own yogurt. And what's so great about the Bulgarian yogurt is that you can just save a little bit and use that as your starter culture for your next batch rather than having to keeping by starter culture. So long story short, only have two of these because I really do like this, but um, we've been making our own yogurt as well. Well, there's always a place in my heart, in our home, and in our fridge <laughs> for Nancy's probiotic organic sour cream. This is again a fan family favorite. I bought a case of six of these. I forgot to tell you the price of the yogurt. My phone went dead. Here we go. So the yogurts were $5.94 each. Now guys, that's actually a pretty good deal because if you go in the store and try to buy this size, which is two pounds, 32 ounces of yogurt, you'll be hard pressed to find this quality for $5.94. So that's a pretty good deal. Six of these sour creams, $17.39. I don't know what that comes to. <laughs> Do the math. I can tell you what it is per ounce, but that doesn't help you. So figure that out on your own. $17.39 divided by six, and there's your sour cream price. Okay. This is also a new purchase, nothing extravagant or exciting, but it is organic refined cold pressed avocado oil. Again, like five words in that title there. Um, and the lid actually cracked when I opened it. So I was really worried, but there is, well, there was <laughs> a seal here. So um, nothing leaked, thankfully. I do have another container that I use for avocado oil, so it's not a big deal. I'm just going to pour this into it. But I wanted to get some more avocado oil just to have again on hand for the year. And that is a 32 ounce glass jar and it was $15.16. Alright, this is milk powder. Now normally in the past I had purchased once before the A2A2. Uh, organic milk powder and it was delicious I, I liked it I like the A2A2 milk um, but it was costly and it was actually out of stock last month so I decided to save some money save some pennies and this time I got 26 ounces of just organic whole milk powder so it's not necessarily the A2A2 type of milk right but it is organic whole milk powder and this 26 ounces was $15.57. So this is basically freeze-dried milk. We don't have a freeze dryer yet. <laughs> it's all the plan. Um, until we can make our own, right, this is what I've been using. And I like to have this on hand, and I actually store this in the freezer. I'll um, encompass it into like a plastic Ziploc bag, a freezer-safe bag, just to make sure there's no moisture that gets in. And then I'll actually store it in the freezer just for optimum freshness, right? Um, but we use this sometimes for cooking, right? If I'm out of milk, sometimes I use this to, for a cappuccino, just rehydrate some milk with hot steaming water. And there's my frothy milk for my cappuccino. But I like to have this on hand just as an in case. There's a couple things back here. There are two huge bags that are in the garage and I'm sorry, but they are 50 pounds each and I'm not going to bring them back into the house. Um, so I'll show a, an image here from Azure, uh, but this is a fertilizer. It's a new, it's called Nutra Rich Fertilizer Pellets. It's a 432 uh, organic and it's 50 pounds. And each 50 pound bag 
was $21.02. And so again, that was a really good deal. And I had purchased this fertilizer last year. I actually have a little bit left that I'm gonna be using this weekend and it's been fantastic. So we have a huge garden this year. So those 100 pounds of fertilizer will go to use mozzarella. So this is a six pound block of mozzarella. And this is where my husband was just truly laughing at me <laughs> because I purchased four of these, 24 pounds of mozzarella cheese. And my hope is that this lasts well into 2023. Um, I'm probably gonna cut these into one pound blocks. Um, so what I do is I buy a lot of our cheese, like our cheddar and our mozzarella cheese in this bulk five or six pound block. And then I cut it into usually one pounds, one pound blocks each, vacuum seal it and freeze it. And then I just pull out one pound as I need it. If I need to shred it, I just manually shred it, no big deal. And that way we always have that cheese on hand. It stays fresh, it's great quality, and I don't have to worry about going to the store and paying five or six dollars for a one pound bag of cheese. So these six pounds, was $23.51 each. So it's about $94 worth of cheese. It's a lot of cheese. But my hopes are that it will last for all of 2022, like I said, again, into 2023. And this is, um, this is just the Azure Standard, Azure Market Mozzarella Cheese Whole Milk. Okay, getting down to the wire here. Last three items. These are new purchases, or at least two of them are. This is five pounds of organic diced sweet potatoes. And so when you order it, this is like the Azure Market brand. And when you order it, it just comes in a big block like this. So, and it's kind of stuck together. Um, so I have to break this up before I put it back in the freezer. But I find that this is going to be really useful when I need a quick side dish. This would also make really good breakfast hash. Um, it's just great to have something like this kind of ready on hand. So I got five pounds of those. The five pounds of sweet potatoes was $11.75. And then I got five pounds of organic green beans. And again, they're kind of in a block here. But I can tell that if I just kind of bang this on the floor or the counter for a little bit, it'll all break apart. Um, again, just a quick and easy side dish for a meal until we get all of the green beans from our garden. This is what's going to work. So five pounds of organic green beans was $14.04. And then last but not least, we got five pounds of organic broccoli florets. Now, last time I bought this broccoli, I did buy this sometime last year, probably a year ago now. The broccoli florets were really tiny, and I was disappointed, like really tiny. So I am pleased that these are much bigger. I mean, they're not huge, right? But they're bigger than they were last time. So this is going to be great in stir fries, in sauces, and in soups, just really anything. Um, and so that five pounds of organic broccoli was $21.71. So I wanted to show you how I store my onions because I had mentioned that. I purchased, I think it was a pack of five of these look like pantyhose, but they're not. <laughs> it's, they've got a little loop here and it's mesh. And then there's an opening here where you can kind of get the onion at the bottom. And so what you do is put your onions in. Like I said, I got these on Amazon and I will link down below where the exact product I purchased, but I love them. And I just have them hanging in our garage. It was perfect over the winter. Now, as it heats up and I'm in the South, right? So as it gets a lot warmer in our garage, I will probably bring these in and put them in our pantry. But you can see they kind of just stack like that. And so I can usually get five or six onions, and these are a little bit smaller, so maybe more in a bag. But I find that it keeps the onions uh, away from moisture, right? It keeps them breathing, and it's just a really handy way to store your onions. So that link is below. That is almost my whole order. I forgot there were two more things I got. 
and that was an organic thieves essential oil as well as a peppermint essential oil um, i ran out i i had some young living and some other brands and i had run out and i have found that the thieves brand from azure is just as good as young living so i know the young living i love it there's this is no diss to young living um but it is a little pricey at times right and it's not as easy to order and so i got this one and the thieves was 14 dollars and one cent now I think the Young Living is almost double that. So this I have found, this is the second or third time I've ordered this. It's a great replacement, just as good. The peppermint essential oil was $5.20. So again, great price. That concludes the April 2022 Azure order. I hope you found this helpful. I know that I always love sharing these things with you. I, and I love watching other people's Azure standard hauls and kind of seeing all the fun things they have. Now I have the task of putting things away and it's gonna happen over a couple of days. Um, these big 25 pound bags, like I said, I have to empty into some five gallon buckets and get some cheese processed in the freezer, so. But join me, subscribe if you already haven't, because I'm gonna be using all of these goodies to make delicious meals and preserve a lot of food. And, and so you've gotta come along and see how we do that. Thank you for joining me today. I love sharing this journey with you. And thank you for welcoming me into your home and into your life to do so. Stay healthy, stay well. Bye-bye.